As we come to pray, let's think about what King David said in Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. See his face always. We can echo this prayer, and though COVID restrictions stop most of our corporate singing, we can still sing in private and in our hearts and minds. Let's remember all those gone before who have witnessed to this God, some of whom had the most wonderful voices. So now, let us pray. Our Father, we come together this morning in our act of worship. We pray that you will accept our, your, our praise and prayers. As God Most High, we approach you through your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving us this way to come to you. Otherwise, how do we dare to? You are the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of all life, the beginning and the end, the great I Am. Thank you that as your followers, you show us how to live life in all its fullness. This morning, we commit our act of worship and service to you. We want to prepare our hearts for worship as we turn away from the joys, the struggles, the worries and the distractions of daily life to focus on you. It is our privilege to be able to do this in fellowship with other believers and we entrust each other to your care and guidance. We bring ourselves before you in corporate worship, praise and prayer. Please accept our attempts this morning, Lord Jesus, as we also acknowledge our weakness, our lack of love, our own deliberate faults. Forgive us, we pray, and renew us by your Holy Spirit. It is a constant challenge from you to realign our thoughts and actions with yours. And so we pray the best prayer of challenge and hope ever written. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together now. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.